up, Bless Me fam? So, I've been having um, some, like, I guess, like, extreme stress from work. And so, I've been very, like, to myself, and I haven't been my normal self. And I've been feeling like that for, like, uh, maybe, like, a little over a month or so, right? And so... I'm the type of person that does not speak on like if I'm stressed or if I'm emotional or if I'm just like, you know, in my own feelings. Um, I don't express that to Magali and what I do do is I like lash out because like so much tension. I'm just like, don't talk to me like, you know. So lately it's been like that here at the household and it hasn't been very pleasant. Um, you know, and, and it's all my doing. It, it's just, you know. I have work and I'm in this new position where it's just very stressful. No matter what I do, I bring that stress home. And it's not like something that I can just turn off and be like, oh, clocked out, deuces. You know, um, I bring my computer home because that's just how, you know, it, it, it works in my world. Um, I have a work phone so that sometimes even on my days off now, like I get calls and I have to answer them, um, only because like I'm on a project, I'm on a very important project and I can't, um, not answer my phone if like one of my foremans or my superintendent calls me or a client or if, you know, a subcontractor needs something like I need to get on my phone, email, um, you know, we we went out this weekend, which you'll see on the next vlog. Um, we took uh, Liam out to the Discovery Museum, Bay Area's Discovery Museum. And you'll catch a glimpse of me, like, trying to finish up an email because that's just, like, that's what's paying the bills. So I have to do it. Um, and with that comes all that extra stress. And... Lately, I've been very, like, moody, and I haven't been, um, the best at parenting. It's just been extremely hard. Um, people that know me know that I never envisioned having a child. Um, not that saying that I don't love Liam, because he's my world. He's entirely my world. Um, but it wasn't what I envisioned for myself. And so, with that being said, sometimes it's difficult to parent. You know, you're, I'm, my patience runs low and sometimes I snap or I yell at him if he's like acting bad when I should instead, you know, take a step back and like talk to him and ask him what he's doing and, you know, and try to redirect his energy somewhere else. And so that, um... That was not happening lately, and that was all my doing. So, I don't know if many of you guys believe in, like, that whole, like, negative energy, um, like, spiritual, like, cleansing of the house type of thing. So, anyways, um, let me just get straight to the point. So... Magali had been feeling like some type of way about the house lately and she's like, you know I get this like weird feeling in the house. I don't feel comfortable So she was like, oh one of my friends is coming over um, and her friend is like uh, Spiritual and she does like cleansings to the house or whatever uh, I don't believe in that. I personally don't believe in it um, But it was interesting because, you know, she came in and um, immediately, like, I was laying on the couch with Bud and I was like, alright, have your friend do the shit that she needs to do, like, whatever. Um, because I just don't believe in that. Um, but that's just me. I don't know if you guys believe in that. Like, do you guys, like, what do you guys do if you guys do that kind of, like, spiritual sage, like, burning and all that? Um... And so her friend comes over and immediately she goes over Liam and she's like doing this like, so I was on the couch, just like laid back and Liam was right here. And then immediately she went and she's just like 
you know, doing something like this, and I was like, all right. Um, and so I was like, okay, she's gonna do what she's gonna do. I'm just gonna watch a movie here with Liam, and we're gonna be cool. And, you know, afterwards she was done. She was here for like almost two hours, you know? Um, and after she was done, um, Magali, I asked Magali, I was like, so what did she say? Like, is it hocus pocus? Like, you know, like are the spirits gone or whatever? Cause I'm that sarcastic. And, um, it, she was like, you know, she's like, she said some crazy stuff. I was like, what? And so she's like, um, she goes, she picked up that Liam was resentful towards you. And I was like, oh fuck. I was like, wow. To, to hear, so like, I had been feeling that way, like he was a little resentful towards me, like he just wasn't feeling me. We went to San Diego, he got sick, he was not feeling me at all. Did not want me near him, didn't want me to comfort him, he wanted only his grandpa and he wanted only Magali. So like that hurt my feelings and I was a little butt hurt because of that, but it was because of my own doing. You know like, kids remember these things and so i was like damn you know like that hit home and then she was like you know she went and she went on your side of the bed and she's like is this where vivi sleeps and magali's like yeah why and she's like i feel like a negative like negative energy around her and i was like what the fuck negative energy I was like it's called stress and so she's like no babe like legit like she's saying that like you have negative energy around you and I told her you know she's been she's been really stressed off of work which I have and so um she pointed out that like I guess um in like my closet side she's like oh this must be Vivi's side obviously because I have polos there and it's not like I have dresses on my side of the closet so I was like, obviously she's gonna know what side is mine and what side's yours. And so, you know, she said that she felt like uh, a darkness and I was like, what the fuck? Like, I was like, it's just stress. But now that I think about it and you know, once time passed, I was like, fuck, like I was, like I was feeling very like overwhelmed um, with stress from work, overwhelmed with like, just everything in general, you know, like as being the head of the household, you have to have, you're supposed to be strong. You're supposed to hold down the house. Like you work, I'm working my ass off to provide for Liam and Magali the best that I possibly can. You know, my, my normal shifts at work are long hours because there's so much to do. Like my pile of paperwork does not go down sometimes. It only just keeps stacking and it's hard you know, all this stuff is new to me, but as stressful as my job is, I love what I do. And so that continues to allow me to continue to go to work every day and give it my all. You know, I'm doing this for my son, I'm doing this for Magali. You know, it it is allowing us to live the life that we live, you know. Um, and so it hit home when she was like, you know, there's a dark energy around her. Um, it's kind of clinging onto her, which is making her feel down and um, like more stressed than she would normally be. And I was like, oh shit, like I hadn't talked to Magali about this because I don't want her to worry about me. But I was like, damn, like she hit that right on the nail. I was like, wow, I, you know, I was like, what else did she say? And she, you know, she's like, you know, she said that the house was good. And um, she said that, you know, Liam was, she was feeling some type of like tension between me and him and like resentfulness from his like point to like, he was feeling resentful towards me. And so that hit home and I was like, whoa, what am I doing? Like I'm bringing all this stress home from, from work and I'm messing up my relationship with my son 
because I don't know how to just let go of stuff from work and leave it at work. It's hard when you come to a position, you know, and the position that I'm at, it's, you can't just leave it at work. You know, I'm constantly thinking about, oh shit, what I got, what do I have to do tomorrow? Oh, I got this meeting, I got that meeting, I have to do these bills, you know, I took a couple days off and I freaking am already dreading going back to work because of the fact that there's gonna be so much for me to catch up on. And the job does not stop because I'm not there. It keeps going. And so I had to take a step back and think about how I'm coming home and I'm being a dick. You know, I'm being a dick to my son. I'm being a dick to Magali because I'm stressful and I don't know how to communicate my stress and the level of stress that I have to Magali so that she understands what I'm under. And so we had a talk um, later on that night. I think we went to dinner or something with the baby. And I talked to Magali and I told her, I said, look, you know, like, I have so much going on. Like, just enormous amount of stress. Because I don't want her to worry. I don't want Liam to, like, trip about anything. You know, I'm trying to provide the most that I can for my family. I mean making sure that your son has the best you know that's 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 the kind of thing and I and I know that like I I'm the type of person that stresses myself out even more because I want to continuously provide more for them I want the best for them and sometimes I put on pressure that I shouldn't but that's just me and that's just my personality and it's not gonna go away from one day to the other so you know I told her like you know this is what's going on at work you know, and this is how I've been feeling. And she was like, wow, I didn't even know that. I didn't know that you were going through all this stuff. And I was like, well, cause I don't like, I don't want you to worry about me. Uh, you have, you know, she holds down the fort at home. She's the one that picks up Liam. She drops him off at my mom. She picks him up. She makes dinner. She has dinner ready for me when I get home. She cleans the house as best as she can. She puts, you know, Liam's toys away as best as she can. She's always with Liam and she's taking care of Liam the best possible way that she does, you know? Um, and so I, how can I, how can I then say, oh yeah, hey, I'm super stressed. You know what I'm saying? Like, as a provider, it's hard to do that. To say, hey, you know what? Um, I kind of need some help. It's hard. Um, but I know, you know, she is a great partner and she supports me 110%. When I got this job, I told her this is how it's gonna go. Like, it's gonna be longer hours. It's gonna be more stress. She said, don't worry, we got this. As partners, we got this. Um, and it was on me that I didn't share that information with her and I was just holding it all in. And so once we talked, we like the tension, like the stress that I was under started to kind of like, you know, kind of go away or lessen, you know, like, um, the stress that I was under was getting less and less. Of course, I still have work stress. That's never going to go away. Um, and it still comes home with me, but I try to remember that I'm mom as soon as I enter that door. I'm mom and I'm wife. You know, I'm not project engineer Viviana, I'm mom. And that little boy looks for me now, you know? And so, um, with Liam, I've noticed a complete change because I've changed completely with him. I've been more loving, I've been more playful with him. And then Magali also helps me because she'll discipline him and then she'll be like, come and, come and get him, you know, like come in, comfort him. And so like, I'll do that and he's like, oh yeah, you know, like you do comfort me. Like you aren't the only one disciplining me. And so like, that's helped out tremendously. Um, you know, uh, you know, teamwork makes the dream work and that is legit. I still don't believe in that like uh, I guess like evil spirits 
negative energy thing. Um, but I do thank her for bringing these things to light. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you think about them, but until somebody else says something, then that's when it clicks, you know? So if you guys have ever had anything like that, like comment down below, make sure you guys like the blog. Hopefully, you know, I'm not the only one experiencing this kind of, kind of things as a parent, you know, stress is always just, it's so overwhelming sometimes, you know? Um, not saying that I don't love my son, I love him tremendously and I love my wife tremendously, but sometimes it's, it's overwhelming to have work stress and then home stress and it's just, it's just, it could be catastrophic if you don't speak to your partner about it and you know, you gotta have a partner that's understanding and that helps you get through it. You know, Magali is helping me get through this and it's just, it's taking it day by day. And so last week, that's why we didn't post the vlog. It, work was just too demanding for me to put the vlog up. But hopefully this vlog makes up. And again, please make sure you guys like, comment down below about this. And then if you have any friends that have not subscribed to our channel, make sure that they do subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you so much, guys. Good night.